So Google sent us a pretty scary email. Anyway, here's some footage from the kitchen. It's about a week old. I think it's kind of fun. It's a beautiful evening in Pennsylvania. You can't call things before I'm even in there. That's cheating. No, I didn't. Well, I'm, I'm saying I call that bubble. I call this bubble. That's the one I call. Oh my god, I didn't see that one. Yeah, I want that one. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I cut off center just for you. You don't get to call it before I'm here. That's cheating. Will everyone please agree with me? That me that that butt though. No, I called it fair and square. That butt's gonna get a whooping. That butt's gonna get. It. Look at her taking the good bubble. Look at this. Come here. Come here. Big butt. Look at the size of that. <laughs> look yeah. at the size of this thing. I saw that and I knew that oh, needs to be mine. <laughs> it's like a planet. Uh huh. Maybe the good news. Is it, that's not coming up through the floor, it's coming from this thing. Mm. So why is it overflowing like that, or dripping? I, I like how the water's going right to the power in your boxes. It knows where to go. Are there any cats that would like some fancy feast with gravy? Uh, <laughs> Bucci, are you ready for gravy? Oh, she wants some gravy. Would you like this fancy feast, Moochie? Come on, get your shaved butt down there. Fancy feast. He just went to bed. Trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> he expects me to serve it to him in bed and stand there like an idiot while he eats it. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. And Moochie is anxiously awaiting the leftovers. <laughs> Moochie, she's yowling. <laughs> this stupid cat wouldn't come out of his bed to eat it, so I have to feed it to him. Oh, okay, there. Here you go, Moochie. Here's, here's some leftover. Here you. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Here you go, Moochie. There, there's his leftovers. <laughs> God, the first minute I, I just wanted to laugh hysterically, but I didn't want to scare him. I booted up. Here, Mittens. He really likes this one. I know nobody wants to hear it, but we, we just can't get a break in YouTube land. Uh, so we got an email from Google saying that the FTC has requested information about us. About this, ch about MMPR Toys and Imagine Trains of all channels with like nine videos on it. So, I don't know what that means. And Google said, if you don't know what this means, you can ask your lawyer. We don't have a lawyer. That's the summary. The, the email is, uh, yeah, it, it's real. Yes, it's a real, it's not a, a scam. It's, it's a real email. Capo was such an evil thing, well, is such an evil thing for so many reasons. And, I mean, the most people can't understand the really easy to understand stuff. Like, when it says it's for the whole internet, people say... Well, why don't you go to this site? The whole internet. Well, why don't you try? The whole internet. Well, why don't you? The whole internet. The whole internet. Well, have you thought? The whole internet. It's the whole internet. Like, most people can't get past that. I mean, that's like the easy to understand part, but there's a lot of stuff that gets really complicated that you would need a lawyer for. Um, I mean, when they say that, you, you know, it's, you have to set your videos to four kids, Initially, it sounds like, okay, well, anything fun at all is obviously for kids, so, you know, that's the end of our channel. And then, they release more things, so then it becomes like, wait a minute, so maybe we're okay. Oh, wait, no, according to this, no. Oh, but wait, we don't check these boxes, maybe we are okay. Oh, but then they say you can't, oh, but then you can't, oh, but if... But here's the thing, uh, Mia and I took uh, classes in entertainment law, um, so we know a little bit. And uh, one thing to know, if you ask two lawyers the same question, you might get two different answers. So we're in what, what lawyers would call a gray area. Uh, our channel is not hosted by a child. We are obviously not aiming at little kids. We don't feature kids on the channel. Uh, we're not doing like counting and nursery rhymes or anything like that. And, you know, clearly I am a big kid. I didn't, you know, see all these toy videos and see dollar signs one day and start, 
you know, trying to get a preschool audience to make money on online. You know, um, when we started MMPR Toys, we didn't even know that we could monetize the channel because that was like, we're like so old with YouTube stuff. Like all the way back in the day, it was pre-monetization. You had to apply for partnership. We were just having fun. And we were trying, I was trying to have a vlog channel be our main thing. And, you know, the MMPR Toys just kind of grew. But anyway, that's a separate story. But, and the idea was to make videos that I would like, that I thought were fun, that I figured people, you know, who grew up with Power Rangers, who were probably, at the time, would be in their late teens, 20s, 30s. There are people today who are probably in their 40s, even older, that still watch the show. Power Rangers is almost 30 years old. So, you know, even if you were one when you watched it, you're still almost 30. Um, so, th there is a large adult audience with Power Rangers. At the same time, you have to kind of be careful with advertisers, because if you do things that are not advertiser safe, then your videos get demonetized. You can't be too kid-friendly, but you can't not be kid-friendly. So, I, I think what YouTube should have done is, especially for partners, like, we've been around, our channel's over 13 years old. Uh, I mean, we've certainly driven enough traffic to their site. How about assigning us a partner that would actually look at our content and say, okay, none of this is safe, or some of this is, or, you know, here's what you need to do. For... But they don't, you know, they just... YouTube screwed this up. YouTube said stuff that they shouldn't have said. They got in trouble. They paid a, a fine, which was like what they make in a day. And then said, here, go after creators. So people like me and like Mia were just like, what do we do? You know, I've been trying to keep my eye on other channels that I, I think would be in trouble, and it seems like they're all not setting their videos to four kids. I mean, some of our videos we did set to four kids, uh, the ones that we thought were less safe, the stuff with... Even, like, I would argue that the Imagine Next um, videos that we did aren't really... I mean, they're preschool toys, but we're not aiming them at... I mean, it, it's... I mean, look, look, look at adult... Uh, Adult Swim with Robot Chicken, right? It, that's obviously not for little kids, but it's it's using toys. And then we found a thing from the FGC that says, what did it what did it say? I don't have it in front of me, but something like, if you're making animations that could be enjoyed by uh, what a general audience, that's okay. And someone at the FTC acknowledged that they they knew about bronies, adult guys that like My Little Pony. So I, I don't see why Power Rangers isn't safe. I I, I just don't know. And so hopefully it's understandable that now is not the best time to keep asking me where the Morpher video is. Uh, we've been asked quite a few times where the Morpher video is, if we're ever going to do it. Where is it? Can we do it? Can we do Dino Fury stuff? You know, um, hopefully it is evident that this channel for over a decade has acted as a behind-the-scenes channel for MMPR Toys since it takes a long time to make the kind of videos we make. So you come over here and you can see that we're working on stuff and you know that once we're done with it, it's gonna be posted at least back in the day before we had to worry about all the current stuff that we have to worry about now. I mean after the email I'm like I don't really want to post it. Maybe we're okay. I, I just I have no idea. I really I have no idea. I, I don't know what this means. You know maybe nothing will come of this but it's scary. Yeah so that, that's that's where we are now. I've talked for way too long. I, I have no idea what to make of the other channel but it's just been like one source of frustration after another for like the past year or two. Well, since, since about 2018, just the, a, lot, a lot has changed since we moved, unfortunately. I've been working on my photo project, and it's kind of funny, not really funny, how we sort of have the reverse situation now, where, you know, back in California, we didn't like where we lived, but YouTube was, like, exciting and fun, and we were able to be us and do our thing. And now, we like where we live, but YouTube is just, it's, it's impossible. I'm going to end with some blooper footage I just came across from April of 2013 while I was doing my photo project. You know, it just occurred to me, who's driving the turtle van? <laughs> you are. I? I thought you were. Oh, oh no! I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, it's on autopilot. We're good. <laughs> Go, you're going into the truck. I'm going to put you in the truck. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you're making a scene in the turtle van. I'm making the wrong scene. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just read the thing. Do it.
Hey guys, we're on our way to Robo Toy Fest. I'm setting the coordinates to the Pasadena Convention Center in uh, Pasadena, California. Pasadena, California, man! I can't say it the second time. Pasadena, 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 Pasad